like and share like and share because this month we're going to be talking about transition to transformation we're going to talk about the things that that from going from transition to transformation and some guys say well what's the difference i'm gonna tell you what the difference is because a lot of us we get stuck in a transitional stage and we never transform and this is the fifth month of the year come on y'all it's 2019 Aren't you tired of going through the same thing every year? Every year, you get beginning of the year starts off. We got all these great affirmations. We're going to do all these great things. By the fifth month, all of that has usually gone out the door or it's fizzling down. Your fire, your enthusiasm has gone out the door because transition comes with opposition. Transition comes with opposition. Transition comes with opposition. So um, this month, uh, we're going to be talking about transition to transformation. And I'm going to share with you guys some of my transitional stories that were, whoo, they were hard, <laughs> hard. So when we talk about transition, we talk about transitioning from the physical realm, the emotional realm, the psychological realm, and the spiritual realm. Because we are, we evolve, we transition to transform in all those areas of our life. So again, when we talk about transition, we transition from the physical realm, physically, emotionally, we transition psychologically. That's our mind, our, our way of thinking, our mindsets. We transition spiritually. And we're ever transitioning. We are ever transitioning. And when I talk about transition, I mean, look, you go, babies go from ba infants to toddlers. That's a transition. You go from toddler to, um, to younger, to child. You go from child to young adult. You go from young adult to uh, oh, mid-adult. So we're always transitioning. We transition every day. We trans transition every year. We transition every 10 years. We transition. And sometimes what happens is when we're in that transitional phase, we get stuck because we get offended. We have so much opposition that comes against us. We give up and we get stuck in that in that phase. We we transform emotionally, spiritually, physically, psychologically into something that we're not. Because we have all of these negative things that come against us when we're in a transitioning stage. And when I talk, I'm going to talk about transition more so today than transforming because I have seen so many people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, and they transition every decade, but they never transform into the person that they have, that they are created to be, that they know who they are. Because, you know, some people already know who they are. They just don't know how to get there. We'll talk about that later. They know who they are. They know their person. They have a purpose. They have a burning desire to do something or to be something, but they don't know how to get there because they have experienced, listen to me, and I'm going to take my time. They have experienced opposition during their transitional stages. Okay. You guess you're saying, well, what is trans, what is opposition? Well, opposition is this. Anything that opposes you, that could be family, that could be your health, that could be your psychic, that could be your friends, that could be your job. And what happens is in our mindset, if it doesn't feel right, then it cannot be right. I got to get away from this. I got to change this. And that's not always true. Sometimes when you're transitioning you have to have opposition so that you can develop to go on to your transformation stage. Now, I said a mouthful then. 
Sometimes, uh, thank you, I will, Annette. Uh, I'm going to explain that opposition. Sometimes when you're transitioning, when you're transitioning, you get, you get stuck in that stage because things come against you. They offend you. People hurt you. Things you don't like come against you. So you get stuck there. And in our mindsets, because we are built to protect ourselves from hurt, we dissolve or run away from that period in our life when we're in transition so that we can develop so that we can transform. Now, let me break that down. Opposition. Um, and I'm going to talk about it from a, a different, a, a lot of different standpoints so that you can kind of really understand what I'm talking about when we, sh when I share opposition and what really made me want to talk about this. I was sharing with a young lady the, uh, a few days ago and she was having such a hard time. She was like, you know, um, I know I'm supposed to be here. I know I'm supposed to be in this position, but I see so many things that's wrong. I see so many things that mm -mm, I don't even want to deal with this person. I don't want to deal with that person. You know, they should be doing this mindset. They should be on a different level now. Um, and I just don't want to deal with it. I know I'm supposed to be there. Listen to me now. I know I'm supposed to be there. This is our conversation. She knows she's supposed to be there, but because it's so much confusion and opposition now in this time, she's having doubts. And see, what we do as people, when we see confusion and we see opposition, we have been taught that can't be right. God can't have that for me. Mm -mm, nope, that's not right. Because, you know, we go to scripture for y'all church folks. Uh, confusion is not of God. No, it is not. It's not. Confusion is not from God. That is true. But you think Jesus didn't have confusion when he was going to that cross? All that stuff that he was going through. On his way to purpose and transformation, that was confusion. That was, con you know, just for, just for the church people, just for my church folks. So we have in our mind that when things don't look right, they don't taste right, they don't sound right, they don't look the way we, listen to me, we think they should look during our transitional time, this can't be right for me. And that's now, sometimes it's true, but oftentimes, because if you've been listening to me, I've been talking about patterns, patterns in our life. And you have to know your patterns. You have to know your patterns. So if you're in that position and you know, okay, you're doing this time in your life, it's just my, I'm transitioning. Um, um, and this time of my life, I'm having so many, I, I'm having so many things that's coming against me. So many things that seem to be going wrong. So I, I know this cannot be the place where I need to be. These people don't think like I think. They don't have the same mindset. They don't have the same belief system that I have. This is what happens. They hurt me. They turned against me. My close friend turned against me. Your husband, your wife, you know, they did something to to destroy or possibly destroy the marriage or the relationship. You had a health issue that came against you. This is doing transition. So what happens is we start looking for a way out or we start blaming, pointing the finger, or this can't be right. I know this not because this is uncomfortable. Just because in transition, it's never comfortable. Transition times in your life, they're never comfortable. What do I mean? What are you, Tar, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm going to use weight, for example. I'm trying to lose 40 pounds. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. Well, it's uncomfortable to me to get up and go to the gym. It's uncomfortable, uncomfortable to me to get up and go run in the morning. 
I lose sleep. I could be doing something else that, that I have to do. It's uncomfortable for me emotionally. It's uncomfortable for me physically because I'm hurting afterwards. But if I'm trying to transition, even though I have all these things, mindsets, uh, physical ailments, hurts and pains coming against me, it doesn't mean that I'm doing something wrong. It just means it's a part of my transition period. Because when you transition, you're never going to be comfortable. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to even look good, may not sound good, may not even make sense. But transition doesn't make sense. Many of you guys meal prep. It doesn't make sense to lose weight to eat more. That don't make sense. Logically, just think about it. They tell you to eat six small meals a day. Well, see, like to me, you eat more food. To lose what you want to reduce, not eat. That's what we've been taught. But see, what we when you're in transition, you have to change. And I've talked about this so many times. Your mindset, basically, and this is the best way I can explain it. You got to lose your mind, <laughs> lose your way of thinking, so you can gain a new way of thinking. That's the only way you're going to transition to transformation. You have to lose your way of thinking, doing, believing, so that you can get a new way of thinking, doing, and believing. See, so often we want to, we want something new, we want to change, we want to become this, and we want all this great stuff. But we want to change in the diameter of what we want. We want to change within our reason. We want to we want to control the change, basically. We want to do things the way we've always done it. Listen to me. We want to transition. We want to transform. We want change. We want something do, new. But we want to do things the way we've always done it before. And think you're going to get something different? You're not going to change. You don't get the same old mess you had before. You have to do something totally different. You have to become a transition is this. You go from one stage to the next. Transition in, I stay the same person and I just move over. You just move. You didn't transition. Every year you get a you get older. That's transition. Every year you get older. Whether you want to or not, the only way you don't get older is if you leave this earth, <laughs> if you die. That's the only way. So you transition. So that means you have to do something different. You went from 48 to 49. That's different. You didn't stay 48 and a half and 48.1. It didn't work that way. You have to do something totally different. And different for us is always uncomfortable. Different from us is sometimes confrontational. Um, I just shared uh, this weekend we were having an event and, 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 you know, we've been taught so often. I know about me. I can only talk about me. Oh, let's keep the peace. Let's, you know, let's be peaceful. And you are supposed to be peaceful. But I've learned this thing in life. Sometimes keeping the peace, you have to be confrontational before you get to peace. So you have to rattle things up, move them some things around, shake up some mindset, some beliefs, some way, old way of doing things so that the peace can come. See, we have been conditioned to want change, want to transition, but stay the same. Stay in our same patterns. Stay in our same mindset. You will never, listen to me, you will, you will never, and I'm going to say, that's a bold state statement, but I'm going to say it because it's true. You will never transition or change when you stay the same. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Think about it. If you've ever transitioned to transform, 
you had to change your whole way of thinking and doing. Your whole mindset changed. Your whole belief system changed. That's the only way you got change. That's the only way you transition. You have to do something else. You have to do something else. I had someone say to me, Tara, you don't drink anymore? No, I don't. I'm trying to do something different. So I can't hang out with you. And it was just, you know, I had got to the point where I was just drinking wine, but it's cool. I don't drink wine away. I'm not, not, don't, please nobody don't, throw no negative comments on that. You can drink whatever you want to drink. Just, I'm talking about Tara. <laughs> I'm talking about Tara. For me, because I'm doing, I'm in a transformational stage because I, a transformational stage because I already did some transitions. So now I'm transforming because you continue to transform. So in that stage, during that transition to transformational stage, I had to make some changes for Tara. And I said, what did I say? When we transition, we transition emotionally, we transition psychologically, we tra transition physically, and we transition spiritually. So for me, in my transition, I had to cut some things out for Tara, not for anybody else, for me, T-A-R-A. <laughs> I had to do that because I was transitioning. So I couldn't do the same things that I were that I was doing before during my transitional stage so that I can change the way I see, perceive, believe and do things. So now in that section of my life and I'm talking spiritually right now, I have transformed and transforming into another person spiritually, but I had to go through something. I had some opposition, one with my own self, <laughs> one with my own self. Even, even, you know, and I can just, I'm talking about spiritually, but I could even talk about me emotionally, emotionally, mindset, because, you know, for those that are listening and who know me, I, I got a sleek mouth. A really, really slick mouth and some things. If you said something wrong at the right time, you got an answer that you may not like. But for me to change my mindset, my mindset, I had to bridle this tongue. That means shut it up. Take some things. Give up my right to be right in some situations and be able to say, you know what, that don't, it doesn't even matter anyway. So I had to do that emotionally and psychologically. So to, to create a change, a transformation in me. So when we're talking about transition, and we're going to be talking about this because I'm going to break this thing on down because I want you guys to really understand. Transition is not moving over. It's moving from one dimension in life to a whole nother dimension. It's not just stepping over, making a step. It's making a change. You transition so that you can transform. You transition. Transition means from going from one place to the next place, from going from one person or mindset to another mindset. A lot of people will say, well, if you go from one mindset to another mi mindset, wouldn't that be transforming? No, mm -mm. it wouldn't be. It would be transition. And I'm going to use the example of the butterfly, the, the caterpillar and the butterfly, because you know, yeah, we've heard that so many times. And transition is one thing, one thing, caterpillar. When it goes into the cocoon and it's making the cocoon, that's a transitional stage. Not when the cocoon is, is completely made and it's, he's developing. No, when he's making the cocoon, that's a transitional stage. When the caterpillar gets in engulfed in the cocoon, that's a transitional stage, transition. 
when the caterpillar is in there and it goes through and it's developing and turning into something new, turning into, listen to me, and turn it, turning into the butterfly, when it's coming out of the cocoon, is still transitioning. Because if it doesn't come out of that cocoon properly, it's going to die and it'll never transition into the butterfly. So it's stages of transition. So when it's coming out of the cocoon, it's bursting forth to become light and to become something new, transformation. We're going to talk about that later. I don't want to get too deep in that. It's still transitioning to become something transformed transformational it, it it's still transitioning so see transition is a it's a it steps in transition but it's always uncomfortable and we don't want to be uncomfortable we don't want to stretch ourselves we want like we want to like burger king we want to like the way we want it you can have it like you want it and you can but you will never transition and you'll never transform you'll be 70 years old with the same old foolishness with the same old mindset and the same old conundrum thinking well wow i could have lived more i could have did more life could have been better for me yeah it could have but you never went through the pain you never went through the transition. You never were uncomfortable enough because we don't want to be uncomfortable now. We don't want to be uncomfortable. We don't want to be uncomfortable. We don't want to do something different. We want everything to fit in our little mindset, our little way of thinking, and the way we think we should have it. Not going to work that way. You're going to meet people. You're going to come against things. When I, I'm going to say this in the, my time is almost up. I'm going to say this. In 2002, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, stage three breast cancer. I thought I, you know, exercise, eating right, living my life, halfway right, I thought. And when I got diagnosed with breast cancer, I was like, wait a minute. What's, what's really going on here? I'm 32 years old. I got a husband. I got two young kids. And I got all this great stuff I haven't done and I want to do. And I'm diagnosed with breast cancer. And if anybody doing a thing about cancer, the first thing you you think you're going to die and all that foolishness. Well, some people do. So I had to change. Go. This was a transition for me. I had to change my mindset. This is, I had to change my mindset, you guys. Because I had to tell myself, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I can't die. And this is some sharing with you the things that I told myself. I cannot die. I will not die. I have too many things that I have to accomplish before I die. So I don't know if this stuff got to go. Now, spiritually, I was nowhere where I am now. So, I, you know, I, I wasn't. No one there. But emotionally and psychologically, I had enough information and teaching spiritually to know, hey, if I'm going to fight this thing and live, I got to live in my mind first. I got to live here. And if I can live here, I can transform everything out there. Now, I had people coming to me, and I'm going to say this quickly because my time is up. I had a never forget, and she meant well, you guys. I promise you she meant well, but because people get taught wrong teaching and people think you crazy. My husband at the time sent her to me because he thought, you know, I was really tripping and I was, you know, I was off the wagon because I would get up. I had a routine. You've been listening to me. I talk about patterns. So I had to change my pattern of doing things so, about, so I can keep my mindset right. In my transitional stage. So I would get up every morning, 4 35 o'clock. I had my prayer time, I had my meditation time, I had to go and exercise, all that great stuff. I had a like a, a, a schedule of doing things, and he thought I was crazy because I never changed anything that I was doing. It was like, okay, they diagnosed me, I'm gonna go to chemo, but I still went to work, I still did my things that I was doing naturally. I didn't break down and just oh. I'm going to die. I didn't do that. 
Well, he sent it to me and she was like, well, you know, your husband kind of, and I'm kind of paraphrasing. He's kind of concerned. He's think, you know, you may be kind of flipped out basically. And I'm like, no, well, you need to be getting your rest. You're doing too much. If I would have laid down like people thought I should have done, just don't do anything and just, you know, take it easy. I would have died because I would have, I would have been so consumed in my own way of thinking that I couldn't transition into my new way of thinking so that I could live, if that makes sense to you. So see, I had to keep myself going in the new pattern and the new thought pattern, even though it got rough sometimes, so that I didn't, I wasn't consumed with what my first thought was, oh Lord, I'm going to die. This is transition. It wasn't easy. It wasn't comfortable, but it was necessary for me to push through. Listen to me. Push through. Push through your transition stage. Because if you don't push through it, you will never, never get to the transformational stage. Now, this is Midday with Tara. I love you guys. 